Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Marie. And if you're new here, Karibu Sana, thank you so much for stopping by. I love, love, love to have you here. So, guys, welcome to yet another vlog. And I'm so excited to share this one with you because it's gonna be so so packed with activities. And you know, I can't wait to do all of them with you guys. So we're starting from um here actually i woke up did some work today is on tuesday so this vlog is starting on a tuesday yesterday was so draining for me i couldn't even film anything so we're starting this vlog on a tuesday i already did some work oh my god my neighborhood is so noisy that that reminds me i'm gonna be moving out of this place because guys this place is amazing 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 the house is but the environment is definitely not. It's too busy, it's too crowded, it's too hectic, it's too noisy. I can't do anything, especially because I work from home. It's just so stressful. And I just said, you know what? I'd rather move to a smaller house than stay here and I can't do anything. Every time I have to work, every time I want to work or I want some you know, quiet time, I have to go find somewhere else to do it in a, in a restaurant or something and just spend more money and it's just so frustrating so that brings me to activity number one i'm actually moving out of this place so i'm going to start house hunting today or in this vlog today or tomorrow i'm gonna go house hunting and i want to move to a different neighborhood and a different area i'm actually going back to kilimani and the sites because these places are cheap not cheap but affordable this area where i live is affordable but definitely not worth it for me especially because you know i don't have a family it's a family place so kids are noisy everything is just not working out for me <laughs> being somebody who works from home so i'm gonna move into a different neighborhood activity number two is i'm gonna go to gigiri from here actually i'm ready i need to leave in the next um probably five minutes because it's a one hour drive from where i live and i need to make it there in time because my appo my appointment is at one and right now it's almost 12 so the reason i'm going to gigiri is i'm going to see a visa consultant agency uh, in hopes that you know i can get my visitor visa looked into because i've been denied twice and i really really need it the reason why we are opting for this again is because we looked at the website and we realized that the waiting the processing time for subclass 300 which is the spouse visa that we applied for has been increased to 37 months 37 months is nearly three years like it's a lot of time to be waiting we are only nine months in so we're not planning to do this long distance thing for another couple of years before you know we can be together so hopefully if we can get a visitor visa then i it usually gives you one gives you one year multiple entries hopefully i get multiple entries if i get it and that way like we can you know we can be living together for more than a month at a time which we haven't had really so yeah i think looking at that just pushed us into like doing something because we can't just sit and wait for another two years it's a lot of time guys we would have done 
we would have done three years, five years of long distance, five years of long distance. That, that definitely wasn't the plan when we started this long distance thing. So hopefully this lady can, you know, give me some answers. I talked to her on the phone. I've seen some reviews of her and she's talked, she, she does know about subclass 600, which is a visitor visa to Australia. Not very many visa agencies in Kenya know how to do that. Actually, I've, I've tried talking to a few and they're like, oh no, you'd rather just, you're better off talking to somebody in Australia. So I decided, you know what, I've seen her give some testimonials online. So I'm going to go talk to her and, you know, see how that works out, see what she can do about my case. Hopefully I can get a visa in time for December so we can go and spend Christmas together with Eamon. Fingers crossed. Again, before you come to me in the comment section and tell me you're jinxing yourself by telling everybody, let me take this off. In case you're new here, I have been rejected two times for a visa, for a visitor visa to Australia to go and be with my fiance. And I'll tell you this, I don't believe in, be, in jinxing somebody. If something is meant for you, it's gonna be for you. That's the mantra that I live by. And me sharing this journey is to is to um, encourage somebody who's going through the same silently, okay? That's what I'm using my platform for. So if you're the kind of people who move silently, that's okay. I believe that when it's meant for you, it will finally locate you. If this time wasn't meant for me, then it wasn't meant for me, okay? But I don't think that me talking about my visa process is in any way affecting me. I'm not that, I'm not that kind of person, so just, just, let it be okay i'm gonna talk about my visa process for as long as i want to talk about it because i know what it's doing for people who don't really have a platform like this and who can't really share you know who think that it's just this situation is just unique to them and they're the ones who are being discriminated against and things like that just listen to somebody give their testimonial about what the visa process is about the actual visa process is about it's just so encouraging and i want to be that person for for other people i know other couples have done it silently and they made it and they did that i don't believe it has anything to do with the fact that they did it silently i think it has everything to do with their time had arrived and so the visa located them and so they got the visa and they merited and all that so don't come at me i don't believe in that kind of stuff and i think to each their own when it comes to these things all right yeah thank you so let's resume our journey to Gigiri in a minute. I was talking to Eamon, so I don't know if I'm gonna vlog with you guys in the car, but I'm gonna try. Also, it's opposite to United Nations um, building in Kenya. So yeah, I think the security is gonna be so tight I might not be able to vlog. Oh my God, these people are so annoying. That they're welding, they're literally welding downstairs. I don't know what they're welding, but they've been doing that for a month now. It's like, ugh. It's really eating at my feet. So, yeah, I think I'm going to come straight from Gigiri to the area that I want a house and then start house hunting because I'm going to have to move ASAP, like, ASAP. Anyway, let's get into the car and leave. <laughs> Okay, so we are here at the consultancy. <laughs> we are here at the agency. I don't know what to call it, but I'm here. So I want to go in. I'm actually very early for my appoint for my appointment. I'm like 20 minutes early. Yay! Even after I got lost once, I missed a turning. But yeah, that's great. So let me go in and then I'll tell you guys what happens after. I'm not gonna go with my camera for privacy reasons. So I'm gonna come back and tell you guys what happened after. So guys, I'm back from Wambui's office. She's the one I dealt with at Millennial Consultancy. And one thing I took from our chat, like it's been, it was, yeah, I've had a two hour chat with her, two hours. One hour and something okay anyway it's over an hour so i wasn't there for a while and one thing i got from that conversation is that i did so much wrong <laughs> 
when I was applying for my two denied visitor visas, I just wished I had used an agent from the word go. So if you're there and you want to go visit your man and you're in Africa, um, I would really, really recommend you use an agent for the first time. If you haven't already tarnished your reputation like I have, make sure you use an agent because um, even though it's quite pricey, I think it should be worth it. They make a better case than you do on your own. I have already tarnished my reputation with immigration apparently because I have had two visas denied and if I don't make a strong strong case this time round it's, it's still gonna be the same thing because I already have a reputation of denied visas so I just wished I had used an agent from the word go it would have made a world of difference in how my visa outcomes would have been but you know life happened so yeah and also if you haven't if you are in africa again you haven't really traveled out of the country before you apply for your spouse visa or for your long-term visa even for a visitor visa make sure that you build a portfolio a travel portfolio for yourself and make sure that your passport is not blank <laughs> make sure your passport pages are not blank so that's another thing that I took from there. Like that's another thing I took from our conversation. The fact that the first time I applied for my visa, my passport was clean, new. That was a problem. Make sure that you have a tra you've traveled a bit um, within Africa. It could be within Africa or outside of Africa. You know, like to Malaysia or Asia or just wherever just make sure that you have a bit of travel history on your on your passport before you we try apply, applying for a european pass sorry make sure that you have a bit of a travel history on your passport before you apply for um for a european visa or an australian visa or whatever you want to go okay those are the two takes i took from um, my conversation with Wambui. Uh, she really seemed like somebody who knows what she's doing. And I think if I do apply for a, a visitor visa again, I might stand a 50-50% chance of getting it. Now with my reputation already, I don't I don't know, it's not a 100% chance that I'll get the visa, but at least uh, it's better than not trying anything at all. So I might use her, but just in case, I'm going to go to a few more agencies and see what's out there and what their opinions are before I decide on who's going to do the application for me because I'm definitely not doing it on my own this time around. Nope, nope, I'm not risking it again and again and again. So, yeah. So... What do we do with our day after here? I feel like um, that conversation has actually destabilized me. Like I just have a bit of regrets. I just wished, you know, I had spared that um, 80,000 shillings to just do it right the first time because then now this wouldn't be the same case. But now we are here and I just feel a bit bad about myself. But, you know, we live and learn. Don't make the same mistakes like I did. All right, guys, so um, here at um, a car wash, if you guys can see. Mail is very dirty, like, it's so hard maintaining a black car clean. Like, it's so hard to keep a black car clean. I have to literally wash this car every two days, especially now that it's not raining and, like, there's a lot of dust particles in the air. Sometimes I don't even go long distance driving, but still, she is so dirty. At this point, honestly, I genuinely don't care. <laughs> I do care, of course, when it's, like, super dirty, like, now, because it drizzled a few times yesterday and after drizzling I drive through somewhere that's a bit dusty and the dust particles just get caught and it's just muddy and it's not looking good but generally if I don't get any rain on me on the car I just don't bother washing her because like because like um it's really hard maintaining a black car to stay clean so I'm here at the car wash I want to I wanted to get cleaned I know it's so bad that the dust particles actually like are inside if I look at the dashboard it's all dusty and I hate it so I'm gonna leave it here to get washed I'm also at the Mark Hotel I don't know why I'm trying to peep <laughs> but that's the Mark Hotel so I'm gonna go in there and get some work done hopefully and then also get lunch because like this visa issue that i've been dealing with all day today is just so stressful i actually feel like i have a bad headache and it's, i know it's because of like 
it's just the stress of visas and all that we don't know what to do i haven't made a decision i just talked to bay right now and we talked to our visa agent in australia and he has a different opinion from what from what Wamboi was telling me today so it's just um there's a lot of decisions to make a lot of things to consider and it's just should we just wait for the 37 months because like Everything just seems so impossible, you know. All our avenues just look locked, closed, locked, closed. It's just so frustrating. So we're yet to make a decision if we should pursue this, you know, go ahead with applying for the visitor visa again for the third time, but now this time round, give a compelling case using an agent or just wait and, you know, hopefully things work out in the long run, but it's so frustrating, oh my God. Anyway, let's go get something to eat and let the car be washed. I'll catch up with you guys later. Guys, I'm shocked. I've been I've been asked to leave the restaurant because apparently I can't use my laptop in the restaurant. Then I asked the lady, but can I use my phone? And she said, yeah. And I asked her why we can't use the laptop is that we are not allowed to use the laptop. I was like, what the hell? So I'm allowed to use my smartphone, but I'm not allowed to use my laptop. What if? I, so I think that basically the idea behind that is you're not supposed to work while you're in there. But I'm like, I could be working on my phone. What do you mean? I could be having a video conference call on my phone. So apparently you can't use your laptop in the restaurant. That's ridiculous. That's like the first time I'm hearing that. Like, that's ridiculous. So apparently for me to use my laptop, there's a VIP lounge in the same building that I have to pay for. So the, so I can only use my laptop in the VIP lounge, but for me to access the VIP lounge, I have to pay 1,500 shillings. That's ridiculous. This is the first time I'm, I'm encountering such a scenario. That, like, that's crazy. That's crazy even for me. What? Wow. Anyway, so, I thought that I could get my car washed as I eat something and I do some work, but apparently because I can't use my laptop, I, I'm not giving them my service. I'm not giving them my money, right? They can't wash my car. I can't eat there if I can't do whatever I want to do when I'm eating. That's crazy. Wow. Anyway, let's head over to Art Cafe. This is why I love Art Cafe. Every time, every time, they never disappoint. You know, these chain restaurants, the franchise, they just, they, they literally never disappoint. And they're the ones with the most clientele because they never, they never disappoint. I love their food. I love their service. I love how free they let you be in, you know, it's just amazing. Anyway, let's head over to where we are accepted because apparently the Mark Hotel on Thicker Road does not accept clients who use their laptops, but accepts clients who use their phones make it make sense am i mistaken guys let me know in the comment section am i mistaken like am i taking this too personal i don't know anyway let's let's move on let's move on today has been too crazy for me to add this onto the list of things that make me unhappy <laughs> I'm here at Shell Car Wash right behind me and let me tell you guys they've done such a good job for 300 shillings I'm definitely adopting this as my newest car wash area and the cafe there at cafe that allows me to use my laptop so win-win win-win I think I've yeah I've found a new favorite and my car is so clean and I'm here for it I love 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 a clean place a clean space be it my house my car my clothes i just love me a clean clean place right yeah look at that look at how clean my car is i'm so here for it especially down there like and i like that they put that so that you know you don't um, put mud in your car and your car's not dirty soon so i'm really really happy with the service 
now let's head home and get to bed i want to be sleeping at seven o'clock guys no seven is too ambitious i want to be sleeping at uh nine o'clock to wake up at six every single day i want to develop a routine so i'm trying to work on that i'm gonna have something to eat something really really light maybe fruit to eat and then yeah and then go to bed by nine o'clock actually i don't even have those fruits in the house you know what let me go to quick match and get some some fruits something to eat for supper because i'll go for shopping tomorrow yeah i don't have the energy to shop right now so i'm gonna go pick something real quick and then head home and then probably go for shopping tomorrow not probably actually go for shopping tomorrow because i don't have anything to eat in the house i don't know how i live like this today it's the next day in the vlog because i started the vlog on tuesday so today is wednesday yeah right now it's about 7 30 p.m actually it's 7 50 now god i've been sitting here for 20 minutes yeah right now it's about 7 50 p.m and i'm catching up with you guys from the parking lot of quick mart which is where i'm gonna you know buy my food from so um, the reason why I'm catching up with you guys right now is because yesterday I literally ended up staying awake up to um, 5 o'clock in the morning. Like, I know I said earlier in the vlog I was going to go to bed at 9 o'clock, but then I had work to do and I had to finish that vlog because I promised you guys I'll be, I'll be dropping a video every Wednesday and I, I wanted really to, I wanted to make good on that promise. So I just had to stay up until 5 o'clock in the morning now that's not the reason why i'm catching up with you guys right now i woke up so usually uh, usually i always like end up sleeping up to 11 o'clock in the morning if i do go to bed that late actually early because it's, it's five o'clock so i give myself at least six hours of sleep regardless of when i go to sleep because i really really need that sleep for me to stay sane so i I went to sleep uh, i woke up at 11 o'clock so the video that I, I put up the video the vlog that i was you know up all night editing i scheduled it for today i think at 10 o'clock so by the time i was waking up it was already one hour into since the video was you know went live or was posted i looked at the video that took me 13 hours to edit 13 hours of literally screen time to edit only to find out it has 400 views in an hour like that's that's really bad then i went to, i went ahead to look at the analytics and they were not looking good at all guys i felt so demotivated i felt so bad i was just like wow i'm putting in so so much and it's it's not giving back you know it's not giving up what i expected it's not giving back to me what i expected to give and it's just so frustrating i literally don't know how to deal with this sometimes with it sometimes but then so i went back to bed and i think i spent the next one hour just contemplating what the hell do i do with my life and i even looked at job sites i contemplated going back to teaching which i already decided i wasn't gonna do that at least or not at the level that i am trained for right now not at the level i don't know what's going on with my speech right now but at least not at the level that i have trained for right now right now i have a bachelor's degree but i want a master's so i can I have more you know opportunity for a good income if i ever do decide to practice teaching so i'm just like um should i give up on this because it's like i'm putting in so much and it's not giving back and usually i just like i just like to um re revert to, i think it's just a, the human nature in me i want to go back to comfort because the teaching the teaching even though it might give me you know small money 
small small monies uh it's still going to give me security you know whatever happens i'll still get that 30 40 thousand that they're offering me every month but then if i do take teaching if i do take up teaching it's going to stunt my growth it's gonna get me comfortable also it won't give me enough time to do things the things that i want to do you know like Content creation is taking a lot of my time and energy right now, but if it does pay off, I'll have the freedom that I want, I'll have a better opportunity to earn even more money than teaching would ever give me. I'm already doing that right now. You know, on a good month, I do earn more money than teaching could ever give me from YouTube. But on a bad month, you guys can guess. So if it if it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, it's good. And I just, I just sat back and I, re I remembered I... I try to remind myself why I started this. I started this so I can have the freedom to have a family, to venture into other things, to, you know, do all these things that I cannot do if I'm self-employed. And, you know, even, even though this is like super hard, this whole content creation is super hard, I want to look at it as growth. And, you know, as you all know, growth is not linear. You know, nobody ever grew from like zero to a hundred in a linear way, you know, zero, one, two, three, up to a hundred. No, that's, that's usually not growth. I mean, there are people who are exceptional, but in most cases that can't be growth. So I had to sit down and remind myself why I started this and, you know, remind myself that this is just growth. You know, some days I'm going to have good days and some days I'm going to have bad days. But regardless, I'm still building something and I really need to stick at it and not give up because of one bad, you know, uh, one video doing badly off than the rest. So <laughs> coming to this realization that I don't want to give up content creation because of the vision that I have took me an entire day. So I wasn't able to do anything at all apart from eating and editing one reel that I posted on Instagram. That was it, you know. And at the end of the day, I felt so bad. I was like, why am I wasting my time? Why am I, you know, why am I like this? Why can't I just like accept this and accept it as a challenge and keep moving? Then I realized actually this is okay. It's okay to take a step back and breathe. It's okay to remind myself that things do happen and, you know, things will happen for me and also that the universe always work for me and not against me and i just have to you know look back at that video see what i did do right if it's the thumbnail i need to re-edit it and all this you know so it, this is okay me feeling bad and you know taking a step back and taking a day off to reevaluate what's really happening is totally okay and that i shouldn't feel bad for myself so i'm seated at the parking lot of quick mart which is where i shop every single day i wasn't able to shop for much yesterday so i need food in the house i don't have any food right now so i'm gonna go in there and do a shop for the week and yeah and then um i just decided to share this with you guys because i know that um this is not just unique to me i know that the situation is a lot of people go through this so i just wanted to encourage you if you're gonna watch this vlog that Growth is not linear and don't beat yourself over things that don't work out. Don't wallow in self-pity and pity and self-loathing just because things are not working out as you, you know, you as you wish for them to because eventually they will work out, right? Maybe this is just, you know, life asking you to redirect your focus onto something better or reevaluate what you're doing, all that, all that be encouraged okay <laughs> it took me an entire day for me to encourage myself to get out of that house and go buy myself food and keep blogging for you guys so yeah anyway uh just as a side note if you want to watch the video the video that i was actually editing was the surprise party that i hosted for my brother his very first surprise party he has never had any birthday at all in his entire life but the party i mean so um that's a video that i spent 13 hours editing and then got it's very few the views are not they're not doing great but you know what that's youtube you kind of always expect win 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 with youtube sometimes it just break checks you <laughs> like it did to me today if you want to support your girl here um just you know leave 
something nice engage with my content leave a heart in the comment section leave an advice leave something positive and if you can just um let the ads run if possible for you again this is not obligation this is not an obligation that you owe me just you know if you have some time to burn off let the ads run because that does help me with my content i get you know money out of it <laughs> but most importantly if you do like the video please give it a thumbs up because then the algorithm will pick the video and push it to other people who might like the, who like the same kind of content that you like so that way uh the audience grows bigger and the views get bigger okay thank you so much guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support i love you guys and i love that you're here and i love that you're willing to walk through this journey with me We say we were good together I would say we had fun But our trails will never run forever Something else is on your mind Like everything that's good today so um, I just woken up and like I, like I told you guys last night I do want to make mandazis today so hopefully I can make good mandazis like it's been a minute since I made mandazis I have my earbuds in because I woke up every time I wake up in the morning every morning when I wake up I often call Eamon because once I start getting busy in my day with everything that I want to do, running my errands and all, I just don't get enough time or concentration to actually, you know, give him that attention that I can give him in the morning. And also, Lunzi is right here, willing to say good morning to the world. Looney, Looney, Lunzi. Luna has so many names. She's Looney, she's Lunzi, she's Lunzi Lu, she's Lunzi, she's baby girl. Baby girl wants to say, do you want to say good morning to everybody? No? Yeah. She's feeling especially very lovely this morning. <laughs> so we want to go, um, Lindsay, oh my God. Why did I even start? She's so clingy. 
You wanna go make some mandazis with Lunzi? <laughs> stop, Lunzi, stop. And and then uh what are we gonna do with our day today? Actually, I need to film a video. Like like I start I started this series uh solving LDR. I don't know if I've talked about it in this vlog, but like I said, I get really frustrated and a bit um unmotivated if i don't get as much views but i'm gonna keep at it so i need you guys to support me all right i need you guys to watch those videos i need to engage with my content so i can keep posting them otherwise i'm gonna be forced to get a teaching job and, they, and then you guys won't be seeing as much of me as you know i could possibly possibly with put out there without actually getting burnt out you know so I promise to keep doing this if you guys promise to keep watching the videos and subscribing and sharing and liking and commenting and doing everything positive all right that's a pact it's a pact <laughs> so I need to shoot a long distance relationship video solving LDR video because I'm due one and I did shoot one then I, I lost all the footage so actually I lost like three quarters of the footage that's actually important and so I have to redo it again and I need to shoot a different video again and I need to shoot an ad as well that it's unpaid actually it's it's just a PR package that I need to unbox with you guys I don't know if I'm gonna do it now or I'm gonna do it for Instagram stories like I said the brand deals are coming in but they're not paid right now so I have to put in extra work all right, guys, enough of my lamentations to you guys. Let's go make some mandazis. We'll shoot some videos today. And I am due, um, I'm due, a what do you call it? A date with Luna. Like, I keep saying I'm going to take her somewhere and I haven't taken her somewhere in a while. So I think I'm going to go for a walk today at Karura. How am I going to do all this in a day? I don't know. But I need to take her for a walk or at Karura or I could also go to Ngong Hills. Uh, as I had promised earlier on, we'll figure out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with my brother as well. He wants to get out of the house a bit more. So let's go make the bandazis. Then we'll probably go for the walk first so I can come back home and take a shower and then do the video. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. I also need to do my feet. I need to find a new foundation because the one I have right now is just not working for me. It's making my face a bit too oily. And my face is already a combination skin. Like I have my t-zones are quite oily and the rest of my face is a bit dry so it's just a bit hectic so i need to find a new foundation as well there's so much we have lined up for today i don't know if i'm gonna do all of them but i know i won't do all of them if i don't start right now so let's go <laughs> Still got your lips and paper in the trash now I never knew love could be so sweet I never knew it would sting I never knew love like this would leave me in pieces Oh, am I Part of me, I feel it 
So guys, we are on our way to, we decided on Gong Hills. We'll be going to, actually, we'll be driving for about an hour and 40. So we'll get there by 2 o'clock. I think so. Yeah. So see you guys there. Actually, we're coming, we're coming with you guys right now. So let's go. So guys, I'm at um, I'm at Ngong Hills. Like I told you guys, I was gonna come here. That's the wind power, windmill, windmill station, and those are what are those? Those are sheep. Are they sheep? Those are, those are not goats. So those are sheep. Those are sheep right there. We're gonna park here, and let me tell you guys, Luna is such a terrorist. She literally just started barking at those sheep, so we had to move her. So my brother and Luna are. Well, over there. <laughs> yeah. Luna, Luna. 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 Look at the view, guys. Look at the view down over there. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. I don't know what that, what lake that one is, but it looks so nice. Look at that valley. It's a bit cold today. So yeah, look at that view. Oh my God. It's so stunning. I really wanted to bring Luna here so she can enjoy this. You know, she's not, she's, I don't think she's ever had this actually. She's never had this. And we've been planning to bring her over for such a long time. So I'm so happy that finally we were ready to, we were able to bring Luna with us. It's so amazing. She's so happy. Look at her. She's so happy and restless at the same time. Uh, my brother doesn't want to do anything at all, like any activity. Oh, guys, look at the peak. Can you guys see the peak? Yeah. We're going to walk all the way up there. Someone else is parked over there. Let me tell you guys, the, the drive up here was so hectic. It was so hectic. I didn't even think Mel could do it. But she did. She's a machine. So we're not going to do any activities, but I know there's zip lining and there's what else? Zip lining, archery. There's a bunch of things you can do up here. I don't think I'm going to do any of them. Might, but I'm not sure. So let's see what the day has for us here. Days without water along the sun so grown. We cross over borders to get where we are And it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you 
without sleeping Cause you fear the night And days without eating Cause it ain't enough for two And it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. Is the last day of the vlog because um, I feel like it's been going on for too long and also it's Friday I started this vlog on Tuesday I usually want my vlogs to go for like a full week you know seven days but I might end this one today because tomorrow I have a different kind of video planned out for you guys and I think you guys are gonna love it oh I need to refuel my fuel tank is nearly empty and I also need to do my nails and yeah I didn't can you guys see my makeup it's not badly off but I don't like this foundation I don't like I don't like the way it sits on my face it's a bit it's a bit cakey I don't like it and it's not the way I apply it. it's just it gets oiled really fast oily because my face is already oily and that this is fit me by Maybelline so I'm gonna go for super stay by Maybelline and see how it works for me I don't know if I'll get that today or tomorrow but I'm gonna get it and I don't even know if I'll fit that in the video but hopefully I do so it's currently two o'clock is it two where's my phone oh god i think i left my phone in the house it's currently two o'clock last time i have my phone last time i checked it's actually two o'clock it's 2 30. so it's currently 2 30 o'clock i still have a few a few more hours before the day is out but you know let's go do my nails first and then see how much time we have left for anything else all right see you guys at the nail Hello. If just for a minute I'd fall asleep and not dream about you I hate to admit it I'm out of ideas I don't know what to do Most of the times I think I'll make it through
Guys, so I found a house, but the person has not left yet. The person was supposed to move out. And let me check you guys. I found, I think I found the perfect place. Literally. Perfect. Oh my god. Huh? So the owner hasn't moved out. Not the owner. I don't know if it's the owner or but the tenant hasn't moved out yet. But look at those floors. Oh my god, this place is so amazing. Unfortunately, the balcony is not like big enough or something, and then it's not facing the garden, but the environment is amazing. I can't believe this. Can you guys look at that floor? Oof. Let's see. So I've been given permission to film by the way, so I think this is the common bathroom. This is a two-bedroom house. It's common, but it's a bit small, but well partitioned. I'm impressed. And so I don't know what down this one is. It's um, locked. Oh. oh, this is the kitchen. It's not an open plan kitchen though, but this is the kitchen. Single sink. I don't know if that's a deal breaker. And also, the space here is not as big as I would have loved to. But, I mean, this space, yeah, this space here, I don't even need that much space anyway. And there's like two cabinets. I mean, there's space in the kitchen. I think this is a, a pantry. Yeah, oh, there's a wash area. Perfect. Ooh, and it has enough light. This is amazing. Let's see the, what the bedrooms look like. So we already checked this, this, this one. Let's look at this. This is the second bedroom, I think. Yeah, the second bedroom was empty. But, I mean, it's good enough. It's a bit... Uh, yeah, it's good enough, right? <laughs> okay. And then this is the master bedroom. I love this closet. Oh my god. Look at that closet. Let's turn the lights. Oh, the lights are on. The closet is big. I don't want to open that closet because it's somebody's. And then the, the bed area is I love the way these floors are like long. The house is tall, so the floors are high. The ceiling is high. I love this. Actually, really, really love this. Let me see what the bathroom looks like. Uh, again, it's a bit small, but nice. Small, but nice. I like this. Whoever was living here, she's a very organized person. I can tell it's a lady. Very organized and like. Okay. Let's, let's switch off all the lights. And then there's this corridor area. I don't think there's like it has light as well. Yeah. And there's this corridor area. Amazing. Please switch off all the lights. Yeah. What is this? Oh, there's more storage space here. It's like a storage space here. You see that? So I think for your laundry and all that. Oh my god, I'm actually quite impressed. This is the perfect size of the house that I want. So I'm actually quite impressed by this, to be honest. And the sitting space is amazing. I think I would have my dining table there. Yeah, I love I love this space actually. And the price is not out of my range as much. Just a little bit higher, but perfect i think i'm gonna get this one i don't know anyway let me know you guys what you think about the house and then i'm still gonna be house hunting for the next couple of vlogs so you guys will tell me what you think of the houses that i give you guys and from there i'll make my decision but i really i think i really love this one so thank you guys for watching to the end of this one i'll see you in my next vlog and take care of yourselves bye